Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home, holiday, event, wedding, and DIY decor. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an adorable floating teddy bear sculpture for your coming baby shower. Here we go. I'm sure you have seen the floating teddy bear sculpture and I found a way to recreate it for you guys. Let's get started. To make the frame of the bear's balloon bouquet, you are going to need five small hula hoops. I got these from Dollar Tree and I'm going to break it down in two parts. I'm going to put two to the side, which are going to be the hula hoops that are going to go on these sides. And I'm going to start with the ones that are going to make the round middle part, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm going to start by flattening out the hula hoops at the bottom. So I'm going to use my mallet and I'm going to flatten this part out on all at the top and bottom, all right? And now I'm going to just kind of, you know, bend it a little, okay? So make sure that it is flat, okay? And what I ended up doing was, I make sure that this entire area right here is flat, uh, not just this, you know, single area right here because I wanna give myself enough room uh, so when I drill the hole, I will have, you know, room for mistakes, okay? So this is flat and it will work and it's not, you know, round as the rest of the hula hoop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to drill a hole through my hula hoop and I'm going to be using a 1 8 drill bit and I'm just going to slowly drill it through the middle or where I think the middle is. And here it is. And I actually ended up changing my drill bit to a quarter inch because the other one was way too small and I was gonna have to, for I mean, it would have worked, but I would have to force it and it would have been too much work. And to connect them together, I'm going to be using eye bolts. And these are one quarter inch by two and a half inch. And they're going to go one at the bottom and one at the top. The one at the top is going to hold the whole frame up and the one at the bottom is going to hold the teddy bear up as well. And then I'm just going to screw the nut right on top. Now I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. And here's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to place a hula hoop right on top. And then I'm going to place another one right at the bottom as so. Now I'm going to cut pieces of twine so I can tie this hula hoop to the rest of them. And now I'm going to cut the excess twine and I'm going to add hot glue to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And it should look something like this. Now I'm going to do the same to the bottom. And there it is, a little crooked, but that's to be expected coming from me. <laughs> but that's okay. The whole point of this is to have something where the balloons can hang on to, and that I accomplish. So now, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of hot glue, or a lot of hot glue, to the um, eye bolt right here, well, the, um, the screw part, because you don't want that to pop the balloons. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint 
painted in white. All right guys, so next I'm going to be placing my book ring through my key bolt. And this is gonna help me hang it up on my stand back there, all right? And if you want to learn how to make the stand that you're going to see this on, um, I'm going to link it down below. Those are PVC pipes, all right? All right, let's hang it up, oops. Next I'm going to be placing my balloons and I'm going to start with white and I'm going to start by pairing them up and for the ones at the bottom down here you must make the space between them wide, wide, <laughs> all right? And you also have to be mindful um, how big they are because they have to fit through here. Okay, so you're going to make about three of these with the wide middle and you are going to put it through all the way from one end to the other and just bring it down. And here is the bottom. So here you have three pairs. And now I'm just going to continue to place more pairs. And I'm just going to bring it in and just give it a twist. And as you see right here, this one didn't need any twisting. This one did because this space right here is way too big, okay? So that worked out perfectly. All right, so in between I have a few holes. So you can see right there. And I feel like I got another one somewhere back here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add balloons from the inside. And here is the bottom, nice and full. Next, I'm going to work on the top, which is going to be baby blue. And then after that, I'm going to work in the middle, which is going to be gold. what it looks like so far and there are a few spots around the middle and that's where I'm going to place my gold balloons. To attach the gold balloons to the sculpture all you have to do is pair them with either a blue or white balloon and then place the um, other color inside and let the gold one out. love it so far now it's time to hang teddy all right so what i'm going to do with teddy here <laughs> he's so cute what i'm going to do with him is literally just grab my book ring and i'm just going to dig a hole through his arm or hand it goes through very easy and then i'm just going to put the book ring through the key bolt that's underneath the balloons He's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, now I'm going to attach this baby blue 5 8 inch ribbon that I'm going to place right here by his arm to make a seam as if he's holding the balloons. And I'm also going to attach some here and some here. So I cut a few long pieces of ribbon and I'm going to tie it with a piece of fishing line and then I'm going to attach it to his arms. I made the ribbons thicker, so I don't think the ones on these sides are necessary. I think I like it just the way it is. Okay guys, this is it. This is my floating teddy bear balloon sculpture, and it is absolutely adorable. You can definitely use it at your next baby shower or even your baby's next first or second birthday party. It will look great in the middle of your venue or above your dessert table or gift table. I really wish I could hang it on my ceiling right now, but I can't, Ugh. but still, I love, love, love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, 
please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to do so right here right now also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my floating teddy bear sculpture and leave me a comment anyway because you know i love to chit chat with you guys all the time and make sure to share 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 sharing is caring if you know of a friend or a family member that's going to have a baby shower soon make sure to share with them at the end of this video all right guys until next time bye